All right, guys, so this is the eighth and final round uh, of this Hero Pantheon tournament. So again, this is the final round before the playoffs. The playoffs is going to be like the elimination rounds. Basically, two people play, one gets eliminated, and they go top 16. Uh, so this will be the eighth one. My record so far is five and two. I went five straight, but then lost the last two. I have a little bit of a different mindset um, coming in now. So uh, I did win the coin toss. I picked... Uh, I picked to go with plants first. Uh, I'm going with this deck, which I've actually tested not only against Immortish. I haven't even tested against Immortish. It's going to be good. It should be very good against Tell Imps uh, with the healing and the Brainanas and the Cobb Cannons and the Astrocados. A lot of resources there. Uh, but this even works against Zemek. And that's really, I think I found a deck. I think this dominates Zemek because of the um, just the bounces, the Rescue Radish on three is so good against Z-Mech, and there's just the Brainanas and the Cop Cannons. There's so many things, and even, like, the little pea shooters against the Gargs. Uh, so I think I have actually cracked the code here and found a deck that beats Gargmech, Immortitia, and, um, and, uh, and HG pretty consistently. Uh, to tell him, of course, and, uh, again, it, it, he might throw some other decks at me. This is a Happy Shroom, uh, or JDD in the game. So... He does run a very big variety of decks. They're mostly the database decks of the Discord server. Um, so I don't know necessarily what he's going to do, but this is what I'm going with. I feel really, really confident with this. And we've also agreed, by the way, for this round, we're doing something a little different, that if you win with the hero, you're not allowed to come back to that hero anymore. So winning heroes are banned. So you definitely need to spread out. It makes it a little bit easier to sort of predict what your opponent is going to do. It could be that I'll actually give him an advantage because he knows my decks way better than I know his. Um, but I do have a couple of surprises. This is one of them. There's also this Neptuna deck that uh, I'll probably get to um, at some point. So uh, that is what we are going to do. He bans, again, Infinity and Zemek and Spadao and Captain Combustible, the very standard uh, database bans. My bans, of course, are Brainstorm, Infinity. Uh, he's allowed to play Zemek, and I've also banned Solar Flare and Captain Combustible. Really happy enough to play up against Captain Combustible. Uh, it looks like he's ready. It looks like we're connected in the game. So, um... So let's go. He does run this, like, Boogaloo Burn deck, too, which uh, I'm a little bit afraid. I think the catch-up mechanics will be able to stabilize uh, enough. And he went with Tell Imps. This is definitely one of the things I'm looking for. And also, we'll see if... I I'm probably going to play Grass Knuckles after if I win with this Rose. The catch-up mechanics are so good. I almost want to keep both of them. I practically could keep two catch-up mechanics here. I don't have to spam this on one. I will keep two catch mechanics against HG. Uh, so let's see how this goes. This should be a really good matchup again. Brainana is very good. Um, this little um, pea shooter can it can bounce cowboys. It'll also play this on turn two if he p puts a teleportation zombie. Uh, he might just play an imposter here. We'll see. Um, and again, the catch mechanics get so much value. This is okay. We'll be able to heal that. It actually gives us an advantage probably overall because these. Just become so much better. Uh, so we'll see what he does here. If he passes turn two, I'm also just going to pass turn two. I'll, I'll definitely save this for when it's going to get some value. Let's see how he plays this. Really hoping to see teleportation here because that will put a guy in the field for me and kind of mess it slow him down a little bit. Uh, he's probably going for an environment. Uh, I think I'm doing nothing here. I think I'm doing nothing here. Is there a reason to freeze? I think I'm going to spam these later. Later. So, just pass. Seems like he's ahead again. Catch mechanics is going to get some good value. I could have really done the freeze play here so he doesn't get a tie. He gets a teleport anyway. That's alright. I uh, really would like to see some Cobb Pandas and Brainanas come to my hand. This one. What if he plays Teleportation Zombie now? That's tough. Teleport Toxic is also pretty good here. I don't think I'm going to catch up yet. I think this is the play. We're going to freeze, see what we get. It's a Rescue Radish, and I'm going to give him one of these. I just don't want him playing Toxic Waste and killing this. And the catch up again does actually become better later on. Uh, it could be not letting him proc my block is good here. 
We also have Rescue Radish with the, uh... Is blocking his imp? No, we don't want to kill his imp because of the catch-up mechanics. We'll play just pea shooter catch-up mechanic next turn. Most likely. Teleport. Bravestone. It's teleportation zombie, of course. Go watch out for the cowboy here. Uh, so the play is going to be the rescue radish play. Should I go face? I think I shall. There's no great place for teleportation zombie anymore. It's also plays a little bit around toxic waste and it's not fronting us. There's no good cowboy, really. Could be like a blob. I'll save the little one. Yeah, this doesn't get the teleport. They put another teleportation zombie on the field. We got toxic, which is annoying, but I kept the weed whack for that, so that's fine. Coming up on the Brain Anna turn, I'd really like to weed whack here. Gotta catch up first. Should I Elderberry? Elderberry is probably better. I sort of want to play around Blob too. Maybe I should put the Elderberry here though. I think so. So it's gonna be weed whack. Elderberry here. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. We have another one for next turn. And I don't want him to get damage from Blob right now. Blob bonus attack is really, really harsh. He could still do that on the teleportation zombie. That would probably be the play now. That's nice. And throwing up. It's a good swabbing. It's good. Some block charge. So he might he might play into Brain Anna here. This would be a pretty good turn to Brain Anna. Where would I Brain Anna though? It's not a great Brain Anna for us because we don't have enough tempo on the field. So this is just a teleportation zombie. Double heals, two four fours. I, I need more tempo before I bring Anna. Brinana actually has max potential higher next turn, so. The healing helps a lot. Again, he's spamming a lot of minions, so these are very strong. The healing also helps because he has to get Rose pretty low in order to burst down with the blob and stuff. The blob does get more powerful as time goes on here. It's nice keeping a relatively full block meter here. Burns a teleport. That means he didn't have a play. So there's definitely, I mean, there's no Cowboy. Cowboy is here. He went for the Blob now. 
Clock meter's looking alright. Let's bounce. Yeah, we'll see if we can block this and go to fire. That would be nice. We did. And we did. I'm gonna go for this one instead of the Brain because we have the Brain Nana. It's a really good Mog there. So if he commits, I'm probably just gonna play Astrakata. There's another teleportation zombie. Wish there was a way I could punish this a little bit harder here. The Brainana is alright though. It means he gets another teleport next turn. The Brainana is is fine. It means we'll do eight damage. What do we have next turn though? It'll be eight. We can double Elderberry perhaps. It should be good. I can also Elderberry now. It's not worth it. All right, let's go. Big tempo play. It also kind of makes him afraid of the Brain Anna next turn, which might make him commit, which makes the Aster, which makes the Elderberries better. He only he's used a backyard bounce, I think, already. I haven't been tracking his superpowers is my problem. Oh, I'm so confused right now. What has he used? He's used just teleportation station. Here's number two. I put my cheat sheets up here. So he doesn't want to play into another bring now. So it goes like that. This is a 5 5 here, which is nice. I think it's just double Elderberry Stone. Really not going to have enough backyard bounces here to do anything. And the fact he committed made these elderberries so much better. What is he going to do? Bonus attack now? Like, what is he going to do? He's mulganing for a card. He's dead right now. So he's mulganing for a card. He's looking for what? For bonus? There's nothing in his deck that saves him here. It's GG. It's GG. He's, he, he committed the cowboy. The cowboy made him lose there. We're on 15 health. Good game. Good game. We got him. We got him. This rose deck? This is the real deal. I'm happy with this, man. We'll see if he goes back to tele -imps. I'm, I'm I'm a little worried he'll just repeat tele -imps again, because, like, he'll think... Oh, I mean... Anyway. I don't I don't actually... I, I didn't think this far ahead here. <laughs> I didn't think this far ahead of what I'm going to do if I win this matchup against tele -imps, because I wanted to go Grass Knuckles next. But now maybe I'll just go Solar Flare... Maybe he's afraid I have Tell Imps not. This was a really good matchup for us. I mean, extremely good. Maybe we'll just go with Gargna. I have no idea. If he repeats the Tell Imps, I think my Grass Knuckles beats everything that's not Tell Imps. So I think if I use Grass Knuckles twice, I should be able to win one out of those two games. I'm not going to play into the Pine Clone thing. I'll probably expect that next. Yeah, so it's going to be Tell Imps for the second round against Citron. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. We'll just play this like like the way we do it. Do it how we do it. I have no idea what to expect. I'll probably spam this on... Well, I'll probably actually just do this on three. Pretty good starting hand. But I don't spam this. I might be running Primal Pea Shitter, I have no idea. I, I can try to pull up the um, the Reddit decks and see if there's a Citron list here that will give me some information. It doesn't have Lima, so I should probably just ignore this. Is this the anti tele -imp stack though? With the, that's kind of cool. Kind of neat, not gonna lie. See if he has Primal Pea Shooter. So he's played a Lime already. There's that. Um, 
so toxic is I might just go toxic freeze. We have to just control this guy. Teleport would be really nice. I feel like if he can answer this, he could probably answer Toxic as well. So I think I'm just going to Toxic Freeze here. We can also theoretically put another minion on the field, which is nice. He's probably not going to remove this, at least until next turn, if he's running Shrinking Violet. I have no idea. So he's played Lyman, and he's played Triceratops. I'm kind of just tracking his cards a little bit here. Uh, either of his Protect superpowers would be decent. So he's running Sting Beam. Really no clue what to expect. Uh, I think I'm freezing here. Just to keep the Toxico around for next turn and give us that some health. I'd really like an imp throwing imp at some point. Looks like we have a couple of teleport options. Again, I'm going to be playing really... I'd love to get a teleport here. I'm playing really, really hard into... Um, into Shrinking Violet, but I think that's my life. Should I just commit Cowboy to sort of play around Shrinking Violet? He can also have Transmogrify... No, he can't have Transmogrify. He used his Super already. So no Mog. It's only... Shrinking Violet or Bounce. I guess Bonus could also do if he gets rid of the. Well, Bonus is actually half decent play if he just removes the 1 5. Now, if he has Shrinking, he's going to win this game. And he does. Good show for him, attacking Talon. It's really good. Uh, I think we're done now. Cowboy would have been correct. <sighs> I don't think I teleport Cowboy quite yet. Let's teleport Imp. But he's just going to develop another card here. I, I don't. I don't. Again, not in a good position, of course. It's running beans. So he, this deck is actually completely decked out to counter Hell Imps, it seems. And he's got a... Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> We're so done. Good show, man. Too bad we can't play the Imp throwing. Well, it wouldn't matter. It's gotta be lethal. Alright, let's we'll go down the game. Um, it seems like he was indeed expecting Teleimps with that deck list. I mean, he's running Shrinking Violet, he's running Lima. Um, <laughs> he needs his brain in. Okay, so that was really good. Totally got me there. I mean, there's no way he was expecting Brainstorm with that deck list. Triceratops is okay, but nothing else. Nothing else he played would have been any good against Valkster. Maybe I'll just go to Valkster next game. Who knows? One thing I've noticed is that he doesn't repeat decks that much. He really switches it up. So let's maybe say that he's not going to play Teleimps again. I think it's always better to presume he's not going to go back to the same deck. Uh, which I think means my Grass Knuckles should be pretty good here. Uh, I'm no longer teching Forget-Me-Nuts. This is my deck list. Again, if he repeats on Teleimps, he's genius. But um, I, he, I, I've just noticed in the past he doesn't do that a whole lot. We'll see if he expects it. He's probably expecting Psycho Fine Clones. So this is a, a much different deck. Than that. Uh, but he did see me sort of wreck Tell Imps, and that's what sort of my mindset last game. So it, it's really impossible to predict if he'll go back to it again. I think in general he hasn't gone back to deck, so that's that's all I got. Uh, so let's challenge him here. 
Please not HG. Yes! It's Immortisha! I'm running Black IP and not running the... He really was expecting Psycho Pine Clone, so I, I won the mind games. Definitely get rid of you. Ah, uh, should I keep Gatlink? Or should I look for something like a Black IP? That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't have a lot of answers to this at all. This is a fine hand. Very, very, very difficult matchup. Especially if I can get a black IP at some point, but even without that, there's just too many things going on. I'm glad I didn't get the Juggernaut, the Caritops, very difficult card for Morticia to deal with. It wasn't able to even deal with this now. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is fine for turn three. I'll we'll definitely develop Triceratops. I, I, I presume this is going to be like the Teleport Zombot the Igmatisha. That's so slow. So very slow. Uh, so we're able to buff the Triceratops an extra time here. Uh, won't quite be in rocket range, but this anyway happens later. And he also already committed a... Uh... Should I commit two minions here? What does he do to actually counter? Well, this will be rocketable on four. So I think I'm just committing two minions here. Opponent's not going to block also. The Immortitia needs the blocks. This is one of the best. Oh, that's that's cool. I'm glad I didn't buff that. It turns out that our the play we, we made was a lot better. I didn't play around. I'm not looking at the superpowers. Okay, that was actually a decent play. But again, fewer resources now. I need to be looking at the opponent's superpowers to be able to play around them. Maybe would have thought that through. I don't. I think that's the play I would have done to play around evaporate. To be perfectly honest, where is Immortitia? Please say you didn't just play Bounty Hunter. Okay, that is that is good. What are our options? Obviously, B-Rex is not in play. Let's see what we get. Think this is okay. <laughs> A little bit awkward, and maybe doing that with the Bananasaurus Rex next turn. It could be passing there was correct. I don't know. That, that might have been a mistake. I think the fact that these trade here are actually a good thing, though. Sort of. Actually, they don't, if I... I think this is fine. It's on curve. Kind of my only choice. It also... It's nice to get that pit, just in case. I didn't get enough value out of that root wall, but so be it. Teleport. Another bouncy hunter would be awfully good here. I also really appreciate the five damage. I don't think he's running bonus attacks. Uh, we have to watch out for Supernova Gark. Is a thing that loses the trade. Okay. Still just requires so many resources here. In fact, it still is an even trade. It's two for one, because it kills that. I'm almost glad that Galacta's gone, because now my pit becomes a lot better. But it does draw a card here. But so do we. Ours might even be better. Those are used to, to extinction and a, and a nibble. I'll probably just do these. See what happens. Okay. Really weird playing that on heights. I should probably just go face and let him draw the card here. Acid Rain is a thing, so maybe I don't want to proc his block this turn. Okay, Acid Rain makes it easier for him. So let's go like this. 
Of course, playing around Pit, but that just makes this more difficult to deal with. Teleport? It's gotta be teleport. Cryo Brain is garbage. If our opponent doesn't have an answer to the seed, the game's done. No, he can't deal with this, man. <laughs> oh, that's rough, man. That is rough. Ooh. We'll top deck something playable. That's fine. That's more than fine. Now anything he puts to even chump block on the field gets punished. There's no teleport Zombot. The Trickster is active, but it's it, it's not going to be enough. And we'll just use the... the We'll use this to absorb him. Enjoy your card. This really was put in the deck. It's to tech like, you know, some of the three health minions that database people, but honestly, I didn't want to run Primal Potato Mine because it dived a lot. So I, I ran this just to take things out of the way of your strong cards, your Triceratops and your B Rexes and stuff. This actually grows the, uh, the Nanosaurus Rex an extra time here. Am I- is it possible for our opponents to survive? I doubt it. It has to be toxic wasting. Cuckoo's close! Cuckoo's close! Cuckoo. It's because of the little pit that this even- that we even, like, I mean, it would have been down to one health, but... Wow. <laughs> Highlight! We got a highlight up in here. The special deck I've incorporated here, um, and this is going to surprise the hell out of him right now, is a Gravestone Neptuna deck. Um, this deck. <laughs> I, I just prepared it like, like 20 minutes before the stream. Uh, that we're going to play it's like a tempo deck and just bounce everything he has off the field. We have Rolling Stones for his killable cards. We're going to be able... I think this can deal with... 3-nut deck. This is like an opposite of Valkster, and I think he'll probably be expecting Valkster. He's not going to be able to take Gravestones. The Pogo Maga should be amazing. The Warlords really help you win the late in games. The going viral. Uh, we're all running four environments, so I decided instead of Pirates, I went away from Pirates, and I'm running Ice Pirate um, to actually stick on turn into the four Black Holes. I think Black Hole is amazing against the database decks since they really don't run environments. I think that's one thing they have in common. That's almost the, the secret here, is that maybe run four Black Holes in every deck. We're also running... Uh, three excavators to be able to bounce their minions off the fields. They'll get a ton of value, a ton of value. Uh, so we have the four environments and then the cards that need it. I'll be able to replay the environments afterwards, which should be fine. Uh, environments combine with everything. Line dancing should be great, especially against three nut decks and stuff. So uh, let's see how this does. This will also be very good if he goes for the, you know, the nightcap deck since we have very cheap environments. Almost maybe like we keep the yeah, I would I, if he goes nightcap I'm gonna keep it in case he's running Planet of the Grapes wouldn't be surprised if he actually tried that against Valkster. Uh, yeah so that's the explanation of this deck I'll we'll see if I can just take this guy right now I'd love to take him with the viral pirates deck uh, we'll see how it goes haven't tested this against any of the database decks this is just completely all in theory uh, I'll see how it goes man no one's gonna be expecting that this deck that's the advantage he goes with. Barton, and I think this is going to be fine. I think this is going to be really good. Got Gotta play this right. It's the going viral. How important is it? I think the Pogos might be a little less good. It's definitely better to get early game. Okay. It'd be really nice to keep this, but I don't think I can afford it now. This hand sucks. I'd love to just get Neptuna Super just to, like, start here. Okay, all right, hopefully we'll get it too. This hand is not good. The line dancing zombies are good against Barton. Uh, I will put this here, I believe. I almost might stick this in a gravestone if it gets into trouble, because I'd really like the line dancing zombie to get buffed. I'll put this to the left, line dancing to the right. Almost gonna put this on height. Doesn't really matter. Question is, should I Gravestone this? The Gravestone will get a lot of value later. He's not... Well, he could kill this with, like, a Berry Blast or a Banana Bomb or something. And this is going to be a 1-1. This will also block the Triceratops for an extra turn. Well, I, 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 I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure, and I don't know this deck. There's so many targets for this between the Ice Pirates and the Monkeys. I think this is okay. And we kind of need something for, well, I think this is all right. It does again pop out before the Line Dancing Zombie does. We got Pogo, which is nice. Let's see what he goes with here. I maybe should have put that in four to fake the flame face. Probably should have. Now it looks a little bit more like a line dancing zombie. Just for the mind game, I should have played that in four. He has no idea what to expect here. He's probably expecting pirates, but... It's definitely not a pirate deck. Pogo should get value. It's nice that the Headstone Carver actually hits two minions now, too. So that, that, that Gravestone actually blocks this for two turns and is plus 2-2, two, two, which is really good. Uh, so he does go for the Hunters. So we'll take this trade. No, certainly. Uh, decides to play around Flame Face instead of playing around Light Dancing Zombie. That's what he was thinking about. Uh, and of course it pays up for us because we get four free damage in trading his minions, so... Happy about that. I do like this Pogo. I'll put in the same lane maybe just to mess with him. It doesn't really matter the lane here. We'll probably end up just bouncing the Tricara attempts. Uh, so this is a 3-3, so it trades really, really well against these Raptors. Extremely well. And it gives us the luxury... Oh, now it doesn't. But it, it, he gets the front. Okay, that was good. Um, this is sort of a 2-for-1, but it gives him a Raptor back in his hand, and we will be able to bounce again um, the Triceratops next turn. So I'll take this trade, give him a whole rating Raptors back in his hand, which is resources, but I'm still uh, feeling pretty good here about the tempo game. Probably just going to be going viral next turn. Um, I think we don't front this. I don't think he's going to put up something bigger than a 5-5, five five, so this is always the bounce. I don't need the pogo to live either, really. So the 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 um the mix up grab. I don't know if he knows the mix up grave digger glitch. I forgot about that. He might know with the lanes, but the mix up in one should be fine. He's going for the trade. He guessed incorrectly. I'm getting a little bit lucky. <laughs> a little lucky on him just not guessing. He didn't guess the line dancing correctly, and he didn't guess the mix-up Grave Digger. It doesn't seem like correctly, unless he's buffing us for some reason. So this is all really good trades for us. Extremely good. Hopefully that's it. That's fine. So, this is going bye-bye. Uh, mix up Gravedigger. Doing good here. It doesn't actually beat this, the 3 3 here, though. So, um, let's see what we top deck. So, we're definitely not going to Excavator. So, it's either got to be Line Dancing, going Viral, which will actually answer the Triceratops pretty well. We can also go with the Warlord. It makes the line dancing going viral a lot better next turn. It's probably better just to Warlord it. We're sitting on 20 health, so um, I think this is all right. It'll give us a lot of value down the stretch here, even though it's obviously not the strongest play right now. Even if he plays Triceratops here and doesn't grow next turn, line dancing going viral will be able to punish it. This really just makes this... Um, Line Dancing Zombie, so much more powerful. I'd love to see an environment. We don't have it yet. Environment here would have been nice, because then we could have actually gone Line Dancing Zombie Excavator and just kept him off the board. So this is when he's going for the commit. He decides to sack. Ooh, that's a decent rain. So it keeps all these guys on the field, but that hurts. That hurts, and uh, doesn't Line Dancing Zombie doesn't actually take anything out anymore. Hmm with the going viral, so we might actually have to go for the, uh, the burr here. 
How do we play this? They'll probably team up. Being able to set this up, okay, we'll have three, th well, probably the sumo is actually correct here. The sumo will help the team ups kind of work a little bit better. I think this is going. Like, it helps us kill this. Uh, this is definitely not a gimme. He's running. He got this from photosynthesis. Okay, so we both got in a photosynthesizer from hell. From hell. I can't believe that cool bean. That's the game. We're not going to come back from this now. He gained too much tempo that turn. We had two mil me. I mean, it's still not a, not a gimme even after that. I mean, okay. Uh, we need a pogo. There's a black hole. This is a, a hefty case. Dear God. I, I think I need to utilize. I mean, I'm going to go. I don't even know what would save me right now. Almost nothing. I'm going to maybe put the black hole here and we'll hope for the best. Maybe he doesn't have a play. Okay. So here's a going viral just to draw another card since this is not what we need. A rolling stone might be cool. So he's hitting us for four and three. We'd like the four to get blocked here. And we need another card for next turn as well. We'll do this next turn. Next turn. So it means we need like one more minion. A Redonza. So Ice Pirate works. Uh, this needs to go here now. He'll be able to do two damage no matter what anyway. Now uh, we need the blow to actually hit one of these. I think it's very close to face. <laughs> Without the cool bean, I think we could have done it. Oh dear god. So the deal is I've won two plants and he's won Two zo oh, there is no I don't have to play zombies anymore. That's it. This is the plant deck. Unfortunately, my rose is banned. And my grass knuckles is banned. So what do I have left? I have Nightcap, Ivan Spidow, and um, Captain Combustible. It's my Nightcap, and it's my... I think he's going to go back to Immortitia and play around Psycho Pine Clones. So I think I'm going to pull another surprise here. I haven't prepared this at all. Zero... I can also go aggro solar flare. It's another idea I had. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm going with 20 mind clones. Is this so obvious, though? I mean, my whole idea was I didn't want to play in an obvious way. I don't know, man. I don't think he goes back to his decks. Maybe that's my read. I think we're going to see z here. It, it really is all down to the matchups, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if this little band system we implemented really mattered. Yes! I think I actually read him. <laughs> I think I actually did it. This is so good! Do I even keep the mall kill? I think so. I think I look for a better pine clone. Is, if he gets a, too far ahead, is it a problem? Well, I don't really have to berry blast my superpowers. Getting the, 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 the primal is really good. Getting a generation for two is very good. Okay, I think I'm... I think this is still better. Nice. We have a really good setup plan. The thing we have to dodge is... He didn't play a turn one play, which is good because I don't have an answer to. The thing we have to dodge is his z uh superpower. So I don't know how hard I'm, I'm going to commit here. Let's pass. His Z-Mac ultimate sucks. I wonder if I pass if he passes here. 
Uh, so final mission we have to watch out for in ZMAX Super. This is really, really rough for him because once we get these Pine Clones, they're very, very difficult to deal with. These can also really work later with the, um, like, obviously can't more Spore here. He probably just final missions, actually. So I don't want to, I don't want to play into this at all. Let's not give him the value. Let's pass. Three Pine Clones on turn four is our play. And again, if he was going for Wrath there... It's garbage. If he's going for final mission, look, go ahead and do it, man. You'll get eight damage. I'll stick one pine clone on this probably next turn. And that's if he doesn't commit. We're good. That went perfect, actually. So we'll do a team up. I can also wait an extra turn on the pine clones if I want. We'll see what he does. So if he, the more he commits, the more I want a pine clone. I can get more Pine Clones next turn. How greedy do I get here? I can get three this turn, which will turn in, quickly turn into two and two. Actually, the final mission actually makes this switch, so maybe I should pass. Playing this oh so patiently. <laughs> really, since we only if we had a second pine clone, I would have committed there, but since we only have the one. The very blast, I was good. The moment he commits not for the the mission too, we get an easy 12 damage to his face. Too easy. Can we get even more? This will be four, five, six, seven. No. Like if it puts a hippity hop now, it's not good. Like final mission ZMEX Super, like will win him the game if he has exactly those two. I need to put up my cheat sheet here for ZMEX. Think quickly because my time is running out. Maybe I just zap these this turn. And we'll get the huge pine clone next turn now. I could have also just shroom for two there. Party treat. Certainly was not expecting that. Okay. We'll be able to heal some of this. That was very awkward. Let's see what he does now. We're getting an entire field full of pine clones right now. So he commits completely. Can't wrath.
Should I kill this thing? Should I put one more pine clone on the field? I always do, right? Oh, great. It makes us weak to ZMX Super, though. So weak. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because of ZMX Super, though. I, I probably should not have played this one. He we actually lose to ZMX Super. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, did he, did he, did he use, he didn't use Rockwall. Well, that's dead, at least. Oh, no, I think I might have blundered. I might have blundered. I might have blundered. Well, he could, doesn't necessarily have... No, use Strength. Sorry, he doesn't have ZMX Super. Oh, I know that now. Okay, never mind. Barrel. I mean, Barrel sucks if he has one more Barrel. This is a very, very strong play. Uh, I think we do it here, though, so the bunny dies. Right, right, he's strength. Okay. Uh, 14 damage wins. If he doesn't have an answer, he does. Oh. Facts, but would have gone face. I, 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 well, he also gets an egg. Yeah, the chances of winning here are very, very small. The egg dies for free. He's out of steam now, too. And he's probably not going to block this game. Let's see what happens. Cobb can. It works next turn. It also works this turn. I'll probably commit it this turn. Oh, I'll probably commit it this turn. This has to be good enough. He could roll a three. He needs a three now, or a fruitcake, but a fruitcake puts us even further ahead in this game. And this also just trades out now. Usually procs our block. Uh, so we'll have, we should have a, a huge advantage here. Come on. Come on, we got it. What a great opponent, though. I mean, props, props to Happy Shroom. I honestly read him like a book all three games. Like what I thought he was gonna do, he did every single time. I was playing for tele for anything first, probably Telems, played for Morticia, and then I made a gamble and played for Zima. Wow. All right, so that was it. So I, I beat Happy Shroom. <laughs> this is the first time me preparing the first five rounds that I won. I didn't prepare at all. I mean, Igmatish a little, Ig Igma I did a little bit, but the next two I prepared hard and I lost very, very. Oh no, I didn't prepare for the first loss. For the for try hard last week I prepared. This time the preparing actually went through. And that rose deck is a gem. That rose deck I'm I'm, I'm probably gonna bring in every single round. <sighs> all right, that was incredible. I can't believe we rolled the Zima, but in reality, again, the, the Pine Clones, and we played, we both were playing so patiently the attrition game, the Pine Clones ended up winning. He was running um, Party Treat in that thing. Okay, it's, it's decent. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So the next video that will come out uh, will actually be playoffs and uh, elimination rounds. and <laughs> That'll just be more stress. It's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Troy.